back to my channel. <laughs> um, it looks like it's been a while since I've done one of these full on cooking videos and I decided because I was going to make some dinner anyways, I would just share it with you guys also. Uh, nothing too fancy, nothing too hard, just some baked fish and some potatoes and carrots. Um, super simple. Do you guys want to try it out? Do it and <laughs> let me know how it turned out, alright? <laughs> So this is what you're going to need for this recipe. I have some baby carrots, four tablespoons of butter or margarine, six potatoes, a lemon, and some spices. I got some minced garlic, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, and also some seasoning salt. Basically what I'm going to do is just cut up these potatoes in like six um, on each side, as you can see. <laughs> And of course, I can't be making dinner without one of my cooking shows on, so here's some Beat Bobby Flay for ya! I took about two cups of baby carrots and just cut them in half and placed them in a large bowl with the potatoes. So I melted up my margarine and I'm just going to mix all of the other ingredients and spices in there. And as you can see, I don't measure, I just kind of wing it. So. Um, of course, do it to your liking. I like a lot of spices. Um, never be scared of seasoning because obviously that's where the flavor is at. So I'm just kind of winging it here. You guys can do it to your tasting, okay? I also squeeze the juice of one lemon into the mixture. figure out if you need some more salt or anything like that mine was good so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it into my bowl here and I'm just gonna mix the potatoes and the carrots around and the spoon was not working so I'm just gonna use my hands to mix it all around after I mix it I'm just gonna transfer it into a glass cooking tray and mix it around a little more and after I do that I put additional seasonings on top of the potatoes and carrots just to give it some more flavor I did preheat the oven to 375 degrees placed it in the oven for about 30 minutes now for my fish dish I'm gonna be taking some peppers and a small onion and I'm gonna be using the same seasonings I used for the potatoes with the addition of some lemon pepper now on the onion, I'm only going to use half of it and I'm just going to slice it really thin. Also going to take my peppers, take the little tails off and just slice them really thinly as well. For this part, I took three tablespoons of melted margarine and just added all of my seasoning and spices in here. And again, you, go, you don't have to measure, you can just do it to your liking. After I mix it all together, I'm going to give it a taste, tastes good to me. So I'm just going to add the remaining juice from that lemon that I cut in half before. I'm going to spray some nonstick cooking spray onto a foiled lined glass tray. I'm going to add my onions and my peppers and I'm going to put about half of the mixture into there and then just mix it around real good. I took seven tilapia fillets and I just put some more seasoning. Again, don't be afraid of seasoning. So I just put some lemon pepper and some seasoning salt just at the top of the tilapia. I didn't flip it over and put any on the other side. After that, I just layered it on top of the onions and peppers. And as you can see, I had started to put some Parmesan cheese on top of the fillets, but I decided to wait until they were in the tray put some more Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan cheese, and then the remainder of that mixture right on top. About 15 minutes in, I went ahead and mixed my potatoes and carrots around just so they don't get dry and get more of that butter juice all over. 30 minutes have gone by, my potatoes have been in the oven. 
Now I'm gonna add my tray with my tilapia and add 15 minutes to that time. All right, so after the 15 minutes, I went ahead and took the tilapia out and I just sprinkled it with some fresh cilantro just to give it a little bit of color and a little bit of freshness. And then I popped it back into the oven and I put it on high broiler for actually five minutes. So total cooking time for the potatoes and carrots were 55 minutes and 20 minutes for the tilapia. As you can see, it's nice and bubbly now and it's so delicious. That is it for this simple yet delicious dinner, you guys. Let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.